Hey, what's going on guys? Julio with Scale Mods. Here on this Sunday afternoon, going a little bit over uh, what's been going on with me for the last year. I've been posting on uh, my channel. Um, going through a lot of personal stuff. Let's say I went through a divorce and stuff. Um, been going through a lot of shit. Let's put it that way. 2018 was not my year. It happens yeah I keep on going right um let me give you a recap on all my cars that I've had the Acura with the cold air intake got in a wreck with it blew the airbag messed up the front end um my truck caught the wiring and motor on fire and I got that uh not running anymore so I gotta get a wiring harness and some stuff so I'm gonna go over all that with you right now stay tuned there's my little one got them this weekend there they are i love them too so yeah and then i got a couple projects that i'm uh doing for a friend uh, a car that i'm doing for a friend and i'm getting rid of uh there's selena i'm getting rid of that van and my uh a honda i've had here for over a year and then hopefully a Volkswagen. so stay tuned so you can see what's been going on there goes the acura the trucks all the way up there but yeah stay tuned guys like i said this year I'm coming back at it stronger than ever. I've been doing a lot of work, a lot of paint job, a lot of stuff. Got a new partner that I'm working with as well. Name's Elvis, bomb ass dude. Lays down the paint real fucking good. We're trying to go into customs. Uh, we're trying to do a kind of, all kinds of little things over here, here and there now. Cause this year we gotta make it big. And I'm trying to grow my hair. As you can see, look at that. I'm trying to let my hair grow, something different. This little shit over here sticking out. But yeah, stay tuned. Let me see what we got going on here. Alright guys, here's the Acura. Like I said, uh, rainy day, came down, fucking hit a puddle of water, went fucking <laughs> hydroplane on this bitch. Here it goes, hit that shit right here. Hit, hit this corner, a guardrail. Kind of threw it all out of whack. I got to fix it. I got a donor car that I'm buying stuff from. That I'm looking for a donor car. Let me put it that way. This fender's all right. The hood. I need a new hood. Rebar. The headlights. Coarser part looked all right. Condenser looks all right. Need a new fender. Fix the door. Biggest thing is that it, I blew the airbag. So I got to replace those. So you can see both airbags. That shit was not a good feeling. Fucking knocked the fuck out of me. Um, luckily it was late at, in the evening that no car hit me. If not, I would have been in the hospital, but that's what's going on with Acura. So the cold air intake's still in there. It hasn't been running for a year now. So it's been a while. That's why I haven't seen nothing. There goes all, here goes the bumper and all the other shit in the back of the car. See cold air intake stuff, whooping R. All that shit was taken out of it just in case. Needs a paint job. That van I'm getting rid of, trying to head sell it to a junkyard. This is the other project, an Audi, that I got to get on. I'm about to bring it into the garage, hopefully late today, start on it. We got to get this going. Good friend of mine helps me out with the towing, named Chuck, statewide, over here in Georgia. Ball mess, man. Always down for work and any shit, so it ain't too bad. Hood, condenser, radiator, core support, fender, rebar, ain't nothing too bad. But yeah, that's my other project that I gotta do. There goes the Acura. Yeah, take care of that baby. Celica's still there. Hey, babies. Who gave y'all water? Uh huh. Like I said, crazy time I'm living on. Here we are. Got a bunch of cars that ain't running right now. FYI. This Honda, I got a junk. Been sitting here for over a year as well. Guy never came back to pick it up. Ah, there goes my baby. That's my baby right here. Now this bitch caught on fire coming going into the freeway. So yeah, she said fuck you. As y'all can see. Luckily, I was able to put it out. Nothing too bad. Some of the wires are fried. Most of the wires are fried. 
got all of them. That lines. Alternator, distributor cap, all oh, that shit's fucking roasted. Starter fire in here. I don't know what the hell cost it, but you can see there. Wire shorted out, all kinds of shit. This was actually on fire. Coming out of a meeting when I was manager, this shit was on fire. Called the fire department. Luckily, I had a welding blanket on me. And I was able to put it out. There's my welding blanket still in the back of the car. See? I can see all the smoke marks and burn marks and all that shit. This happened last year as well. So now I'm looking. I'm on the hunt for a wiring harness to fix this baby running. Got some other distributor caps and some of the parts. Need some new spark plugs. Got to get that thing back on the road. Like I said, I miss it. It needs new tires as well. The back's pretty much slick. This... These are about to be going out, and you can see there's a screw in there. It's holding on the this box wagon. I'm either gonna part out or get rid of it. Just got done cleaning out my raft. It's fucking disgusting. Don't look too bad now. Kinda gotta clean it out. That looks pretty clean now. I gotta get new floor mats. There goes my tool bag of tools back there. Got to bring back and forth. Clearing out the back of the house. Missing a cover from when my ex wrecked it to a tree, I think. And then here's this Civic that I just got done working on. Put a new vapor canister, vapor shutoff valve, replaced all of that. Got that going. Try to charge the battery. Battery didn't hold no charge. Started smelling like fucking eggs. Put an alternator and new brakes, new front brakes. Said so. This is what we have going on right here on this one. It's my Axis that we're gonna get going. Hopefully, sometimes this week. That's all that's missing now. Our battery. But yeah, garage looks like a fucking mess. Like I said, we've been doing a lot of work. A lot of painting, a lot of little mechanic stuff here and there, in ins and outs. I will be posting more, more often nowadays. I need to clean this place up. A couple beer bottles here and there. Said life's tough. Life's not always fun, guys. You gotta keep going. Now you got a dream. <laughs> now I'll make it happen. I have people depending on me. Thank you guys for watching my videos, for subscribing, any comments, any shit y'all want to see. Like I said, let me know in the comments below. Follow me on Instagram, Lucas J Cars, Facebook, JL Mods. Like I said, I'm getting more into customs. I got, like I said, I just got into uh, a friend of mine work with Bomb Ass Painter. We're doing custom. He knows how to tint. He does rims calipers, paint jobs, all overs, spots, stripes, whatever you want to do. He's teaching me. We're doing it. Let me know. Like I said, I'm posting a little bit more. I have a little, pro a couple pieces of works that we've done in the past month or so. All overs. Here and there for a, a dealership that we were working with. Trying to get back on with them. Like I said, it's been tough, but we're trying to make it happen over here. You got to make it work to your advantage. And if you can't, you gotta keep on fighting, guys. It's been a tough year. It's a brand new year, though. Last year was tough and shitty. It's a brand new year. And I'm coming strong to get it. I ain't going to fall behind. We got a lot of competition out there. We got a lot of body shops, which I get. And we got a lot of mechanic shops, which I understand that. But when you love what you're doing, you're gonna keep on pushing no matter what. I said, anything y'all wanna learn, anything y'all wanna know, hit me up. Uh, like I said, y'all know my Instagram. Just keep subscribing. Let me know in the comments below what's up. Facebook, my personal page, Julio Lopez or JL Mods, my page y'all can follow. Instagram. Anything else? I'm trying to start of us another video. I mean, another thing about diagnosing cars. Like I said, we'll see how that goes. I gotta get my scanner back up into running. Do a lot of diagnostics. 
uh, SRS lights, engine cleaning, engine uh, clearing. That's why I'm doing my access because uh, it wouldn't pass the mission. So that's why I picked up the scanner to see what's going on with it. Anything y'all want to know, let, uh, let me know. Like I said, I got a bomb ass team that we got that I'm forming. And we're going to keep this shit going on strong this year, 2019. We're going to come on strong, like I said, it's been a while. But thank you guys for the support. Keep on watching. Anything else, let me know. Hope y'all had a great holiday. Let me know.